I don't personally like playing that against that character. Yeah, Falco is a tough one. Um, Fal Falco players have to work so hard to get the uh, kills that they do. It's for a Falco player to do as well as they do, they have to clearly love the game a lot, have to practice a ton, and it shows. Yeah, I was uh, I was fighting against a Falco player, and they're like. Uh, for some reason, our controls got swapped, and for the moment that I was controlling Falco, I'm like, oh, he feels nice! And they said, wait until you get hit. <laughs> Here we go. And Glutamate, usually very patient, so very, usually very patient, doesn't have time to play a patient game against Kirby509, who is throwing all the Pikmin at them, forcing them to react and get them off him. Yeah, it's interesting. Glutamate's forced to do aerials maybe a little bit sooner than he'd like because of the Pikmin on him. Right. It's, do I throw out an option that can possibly hurt me, or do I take 50% damage? I think the choice is easy. Get that Pikmin off you. Yeah. One good thing, though, is that um, Sora has such good aerial mobility that um, he can drift back while doing an air. Right, we're seeing that right in action, but going a little too high. Throwing out that thunder to maybe stuff any approach from the Pikmin. No shield pressure. Even better spacing. But now we're seeing the double purple show up. But are we going to get the blue? Because that's the best combo. Double purple and blue? Not you are pop. trouble. There we go. How did you know? They do come out in an order, don't they? It's a set order, yeah. Oh. Red, yellow, blue, white, purple. Thank you. I'll commit it to memory once more. In Brawl, <laughs> it was based on what kind of terrain he was standing on. Really? Uh-huh. Which Bra was really stupid. Brawl has some really dumb mechanics. He was the original Steve Minecraft. He used to have six Pikmin 2 in Brawl. He could I hold six that. Pikmin. Yeah, that was, it was horrible. There's a reason why Olimar was the third best character in the game. Behind, behind just Ice Climbers and Meta Knight. You remember uh, Diddy Kong with his uh, three bananas? Two bananas. But Two bananas. Ugh. Kirby 509 taking that first stock. Still with the double purple, too. So. Oh, he's hanging on to those for dear life. You know, each tick of the white Pikmin does 5% damage, so it's already 67 here. You never expected with a character like Olimar. You blink and you're like from 0 to 100. If this man was a car, he'd be a Ferrari. <laughs> Kirby 509 making sacrifices he's willing to make. Throwing the Pikmin out to the front line. Tossing out one purple. A little bit lighter to get back on stage easier. Worked out. Yeah, the yellow's no slouch. Hasn't bloomed yet, so it's not going to be a full power. That forward air is a full power. It's a so smart. What, oh, yeah, it's so smart what Kirby's doing. Um, throwing the pick, making the Pikmin latch onto Glutamate as he tries to recover. So it, forces just a, it forces the upbeat to last just a bit too long and gives Kirby the room to... Uh, Get that fair, fair, whatever he wants to do. Is he gonna make it back? Oh yeah. Barely does. Glutamate, so trying to just scrap over at the bottom of the stage, but finally gets that up there. The Pikmin extending the hurt box for just enough to take that. 84%, it's an uphill battle. Good shielding. Throwing out that Blizzard like a shotgun. Missing every shot, though. What kind of game plan does Glutamate need to do here? He's obviously a patient player, but patience is not helping him out when you're getting all these Pikmin thrown at you. Glutamate plays too patiently. Kirby, Kirby's totally cool to just like hang back and just throw Pikmin. It's like, yeah, so. I can out, I can out wall you. Double purple and blue. This is the most dangerous setup that uh, an Olimar player can have in the lead like this. And showing exactly why here. The Jumate realizing what they're in for. He's going to make it back. You might see triple purple. Ooh. If it goes long enough. Good parry. Isn't able to capitalize. Purple tossing Glutamate off to the side, though. That was a dangerous roll. No grab. Glutamate has no stage control. He has to get rid of Kirby 509 right now and then go for an early kill. 
the only chance he has in this match. Two minutes left on the clock. Yeah. Ooh, alive? Other way. Triple purple, though. Triple purple? Triple purple. All right. Caught him. And fire, thunder. Glutamate hanging on to that yeah. for dear life. No, an untouchable that situation. Air. Yeah, Glutamate needs to pick it up just a little bit and start pressuring Olimar. Not give him a chance to actually get those Pikmin setups throughout that damage. Because look at that, that was like 15%. Just for trying to recover. Who takes damage while they're recovering? No other character can do this. Also, shout out to the Columbia Engineering hat that Kirby509 has on. Engineering their way to victory in this bracket. Yes. Kirby, Kirby recently won the um, Columbia Welcome Weekly. Going really? Mostly random. I, I saw the uh, graphic and it was just like a dozen different characters on there. Wow. What did he play? Um, it was a little bit of Alomar, of course. Game & Watch is also in the center. Pyramithra, Ridley, um, a few other sorties as well. I think I saw Krom on there. Ah. Oh, Menagerie. The Menagerie, ah. All right, we're going straight to Battlefield. I think this is a better pick. I think Glutamate has chosen well. Because Sora can follow up Olimar on these platforms. And I would say Kirby 509... You know, has a few extensions themselves, but it's definitely going to be Sora's game plan to shark the platforms as much as possible and stuff any sort of recovery and stage control options. What do you think? What you said is exactly right, but I also think that um, Almar has the potential here to do up smash, up smash, up air, up air. Hey, you know what? If you're Might spamming see. a move and it's working, you're spamming a mistake. <laughs> What if the same move is just part of a combo? It's a combo. <laughs> it's a combo? It's a true combo. <laughs> that up being smash, said, up smash? That being said, as someone who just fought Kirby Fighter 9, I like did something to confirm it. You can STI up smash, up smash, up air, up air to some extent. Like, if you guys were watching that, I kept falling out of the second up air. I, we did see that, and we think we were, you were mashing like uh, air dodge for like your life. I mean, that too, but I was also STIing. Oh. oh that's interesting. And I think it made an impact. I wonder if Sora's uh, her box is thin enough to do that as well, though. It's a pretty lanky kid. Sora has his legs like constantly split apart for some reason, so no, he's wide. He, he has uh, those bow legs. La real lack of calcium growing up. All right. Glutamate has definitely turned on the aggression here for this game. Trying to get back. Dangerously low shield, though. And off stage, usually Sora's domain. Kirby with a really good Pikmin, catching the two frame. Do it again. Kirby 509 unable to challenge Sora off stage, but on stage? I'm trying to pressure or press anything right now, just waiting for Glutamate to come to him. 146, why and would that you? Up there. Kirby 509 just accumulating resources. Purple, red, and yellow all on mine. All with big damage. About to lap Glutamate in percent. Not quite. Yeah, still gonna make it back. With no Pikmin on board, that's the fastest recovery you can have. In this case, though, Kirby had one purple. Only but one purple? Okay, so not the fastest. Not the fastest. That was the fastest, though. This is a fast reversal. Kirby is able to take this next stock. Glutamate. Very wary of the shield pressure. Trying to go up and shield themselves. It's on the plate just to get the Pikmin off them. Kirby 509 sees their chance. Goes in. Forward air. That was good by Glutamate going high right there. We did not expect that. 
Yeah, Olimar's got a big enough head that you can catch him trying to do that. Mm, I don't know about that roll, though. What was that? It just did nothing. It didn't even <laughs> prompt it, the it didn't attack. It kill the Pikmin. Yeah, it just, Blew went, off. just went flying through. <laughs> Sometimes I always question myself and I'm like, is that counter still the best in the game? And then I see that I'm like, mm, yeah, it still is. All things considered. All right, something interesting I want to mention because the buzz brought it to my attention. Yeah, when, there is a pick, when there is a Pikmin stuck to you, mm -hmm. your jump squat increases by two frames. Really? Mm -hmm. I checked it to make sure. That is what happens. Five frames for jump squat. Yeah. Dang. You could have nine frames of jump squat. The good old Taz. Who would want that? Okay. Getting some more percentage here. That was a 10% throw. Oh, because the white Pikmin was on him. Look at that. 4.5% every time. Still has purple on deck, though. <gasps> oh, no. no. They missed the jab reset. We meet again in a situation where it's do or die and misses the forward smash. Trying to go low. Make it back. Just barely. It, it warms my heart to see a Sora player have a little taste of their own medicine with going from one end of the stage all the way to the other and underneath. It's like, yes, this is as annoying as you think with any other character. Palmar also kind of a kind of a sortie with those Pikmin. Yeah. You gotta be real careful. Has the range? He has three swords out at all times and they all hurt. Recovering high on the on the battlefield stage. Getting punished for it. Right the fire. Man. Oh, doesn't know it's best of five. Oh, it's, it's best of five, yeah. <laughs> best of five, everybody. No fist pound yet. Kirby Pop and Ice like, wait a minute. No. Get that frame zero fist bump on deck. Get him out of here. So he went in, is trying to pressure here with the fireballs. But then as you see here, he's going on in, gets caught by the yellow Pikmin, and Kirby 509 just jumps down, and then you get this forward sm No. Oh, I see. That up B. Kirby was covering the space right there, but did it very, very specifically so that the up B would not work. Okay, what, it, right. what is that? What is that right there? back the here. Ah, there's a very good time. option recovery there. We see there, going on in, and then we're going to see a forward smash right there. I mean, he just called out that approach. It's excellent. Oh, we're starting off in Hall of Bastion. A good stage for Sora, not the best one, but I think the best in this situation against Olimar. Surprised Glutamate didn't go back to Battlefield. He was starting to figure things out a little bit. I think he wants more of a mono closer. platform to like uh, do those like recoveries and maybe not like land so high up to get sharked. But we'll uh. see. We'll see. Because the band stage, you remember what they were, right? No, <laughs> me neither. Don't no. worry about it. <laughs> All right. Glutamate really swinging the sword in the air, trying to get the Pikmin off. Kirby 509 playing a patient game. Parries into an up smash? Disgusting. Think it up. When um, Almar charges uh, smash attack, it doesn't actually change the amount of damage that the smash will do. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's, a, it's on, a fixed amount. It's a fixed amount. It just depends on um, the Pikmin that's used. Does it still scale with rage, though? Not even. It does. It does, okay. Well, the knockback does. Oh, okay. Kirby does not, or uh, Olimar does not have aura. I'm starting to see what you mean by maybe this monoplat not being the best idea. Kirby is very comfortable just camping underneath that and waiting for Sora to approach. Go underneath to Shark if uh, Sora goes above. Up smash. It will reach. At least the Pearl Pikmin will. Definitely will reach. Man, this is looking That's worse bad. than Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts 2. Sephiroth didn't bring Pikmin with him. Yeah, that, that's how he could have won. 
Sora, you're Double panting. <laughs> I'm excited. Like a puppy. Oh my god, the trailer. I you're, definitely know you're a big man. <laughs> For you. For you. <laughs> Bring back bait posted. Okay. All right. A forward smash finally Good taking that second stock. This is what Gluta Mate and Sars need to be doing. And Carry Fire Rats. I got a forward smash too! And an up smash. Oh, that grab. Longer than you think. The grab also changes depending on the Pikmin. The oh, length of no. It. Got, that's a long grab. A really good burst option from Gluta Mate. Getting, forcing their way in. That killed. Take Kirby. note, though. If you block Sora's up B, you have time to just get up there and up air for doing it, as most characters. Ah. So do that. Good thing Kirby Fog and I can't hear you. No, Glutamate did it. I'm oh, just, Glutamate did it. Oh, okay. I'm just pointing out that most characters can do it. Ah. That shield is absolutely nothing. It's going to break, especially with that purple Pikmin. Probably fine now. Ah, yes. Long enough. But still double purple out, and it's just so tough. Get past. Ooh! Another really good burst option. It's do or die. Maybe another this forward is smash? Probably blue Pikmin death percent, though. Yes, one grab, and it's over. And no run up, fear. up smash. I think, uh, John, you're the one who said it. Uh, Desperate Soras will throw out the dog on stage. I did not say that. You did not? Okay, I think that was Devin then. I apologize. Desperate Soras will do dash attack. Dash attack. Oh. They will be like, forget it. I don't care about my spacing. I don't care about my combos. I, do, I want stage control. Right. And as we see here. Kick. I think it was that. Uh, it was a forward smash here. Finally connecting. And that was the first stock. A desperate struggle there just to get anything. That is something characters with swords can do. If Olimar just throws out a Pikmin, mm -hmm. throwing out of attack with that disjoint, you can just. No, beat you just out dashed in. Pikmin. If we want to like reset that really quick. So we dodged in, right? And of course, we see Thundaga here. And he goes in, and we see the animation pop right here. And that's when Kirby 5 and I knew he wasn't going to get punished because the Thundaga comes out in three clear lines. So, you know, that was definitely a very, very smart play there by Kirby 509 to bring the sets to a close. Next up, we do have Calipera versus Devin 3000.